Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. What's up, pretty mommy? Welcome back to another video and another vlog. Welcome. If you are new here, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell so you're alerted anytime and every time that I post a new video. If you are new to this channel, my name is S Esmeralda Essie. I'm typically going by S. Murata. We do a little bit of everything here. We do a lot of mommy content because I am a mother of one baby girl legacy. Um, we do a lot of girl videos, makeup videos, tutorials, cooking vlogs, everyday daily vlogs. Uh, we're a girl's girl. We yeah. love and praise Jesus yeah. on this channel. So anytime that we get the chance to praise him, show our appreciation for him, we will do so on this channel. So welcome. All my supporters are the Pretty Mommies. So if you want to become part of Pretty Mommy Gang, then go ahead and press that subscribe button. All right, y'all. So welcome back to another video. It is March 1st. Can we just think about how quick that went? We're already on the third month of 2024. That is insanity to me. But time waits for nobody. So it's really, it's inevitable, right? Um, today, you guys, I wanted to start, I wanted to just start a quick vlog for you guys. Um, I do have to go grocery shopping. So that's what we are doing right now is we're in the car getting ready to go grocery shopping. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to buy a lot of um snacks and stuff like that uh because that's what i'm really going for and for like two two meals worth or like three two to three days worth of meals because i don't like buying just a bunch of meat i feel like sometimes i'll eat out and then leave the meat and it just goes bad so i don't know i'm thinking about what we're gonna exactly buy i do have a kid so she's constantly wanting snacks and stuff like that this girl has full course meals all the time so i've been needing to stock up on stuff so that's pretty much what we're about to go do today we also do have to package some orders so i wanted to bring you guys along and we're gonna pack and we're what else did we have to do today as far as like mom stuff that i'm telling you guys it is raining outside so it kind of sucks but we're still gonna get the content done but as far as the mom side that i was telling you guys that we have to get done is like you know bath time she needs bath time today i'm probably gonna do a little bit of laundry if it's not raining too too hard because it's just probably gonna do a little laundry um and i think that's about it i am gonna go on tiktok live and do my eyelash extensions so i know that that's gonna be happening so i guess i kind of show you guys a little glimpse of it while i'm on live as well but really the whole tutorial is gonna be on live i've done tutorials of my diy lash kits um on previous videos before too so you guys can probably just go back to older videos and watch that but yeah that's probably all we got going on for today you guys real simple chill day i am gonna keep this vlog going for at least two or three more days um but yeah that's what we have on the agenda let's go ahead and get started where have you been nobody knows me like you do quite like you Yo, it gets crazy in this Trader Joe's parking lot. Like, seriously, it's insanity. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and okay? And the cars, and the cars are ma'am, and they go by. Exactly. Wait, hold on. I don't know if it's the light, and if the it's the pink, or what, but the skin Mommy, is given, turn. okay? Mommy, it's my turn. Why I look cute without makeup on? Huh? The, the car go by. Yes. And, and the car for being dumb. Uh, okay. But yes, I feel like I'm looking a little cute without makeup. I always feel like I look cute without makeup. But sometimes I don't look as cute without makeup. But I'm looking good today, y'all. But anyways, we made it into the grocery store. Well, Trader Joe's. We're going to go to another one, but this is our first one. So, Trader Joe's. And I see that they have a little coffee shop and, like, empanadas. 
uh, spot right next to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and see what's going on in there if they're still open. Um, but yeah, let's go. Join us for the vibes. Y'all, I'm going to attempt to make some chicken thighs. And we're gonna try bagels with this salmon on top. I've seen it, it looks good. I tried it once, but now I'm actually going to try it. Mommy, I want to try one too. Huh? Are you cold, my love? Mm -hmm. I'm here. Hey, <laughs> We still have some apples. So we'll skip on the apples, okay? These look good. Pineapples. Um, what about you? Don't like blackberries, do you? You got a little gummy. Here you go. No, no, no. actually wearing the same um sweater that I was wearing yesterday hi as you can tell I like it hey um we're actually on bye, our bye, way bye, to bye, do bye, another bye. play date 
It is raining again, so we're going to be going into an indoor rock and jump. Yeah, rock and type jump. Type of thing. Yeah, and rock and jump, and I can jump so I can be comfortable while I love. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing that today, y'all. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little glimpse of it. Um, not too much, cause. girls i have not talked to you guys in a couple of days i'm truly truly sorry this is my first time picking up the camera in like some time i won't be i'm not gonna sit here in front with y'all like this is my first time picking up the camera in a couple of days for real but y'all wouldn't know that but i have to keep it real with you guys because i feel like the vlog is gonna go from this from everything you already saw to boom this but anyway we're here it's the vlog it is March 13th, and it is actually my mother's birthday. Ooh. As you guys seen in the beginning of the video, I went ahead and packaged some orders. I actually just dropped them off as well, but I wanted to stop by and get my mom some flowers. So we're going to do some... We're going to get my mom some flowers. We did have a birthday... Um, what is it? A birthday breakfast with my dad and my mother, my two favorite people in the world. Well, two of the couple of my favorite people in the world and we had a little birthday breakfast but i feel like that wasn't enough you know my dad also surprised mom with some flowers balloons all that kind of stuff but i'm trying to give my mom uh some flowers and some money i was actually gonna go get her like i don't know something else that was an idea of mine but i just feel like my mom's more of like give me the money and i'll spend on it i'll spend <laughs> i'll spend it on what i want so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pick up some flowers we're gonna go to atm get some cash out because i never carry cash with me and we're about to give my mom something good something that she deserves you know what i'm saying so that's what is on the agenda today i do want to also see what else she wants to do for today she is um handling some stuff even on her birthday so i don't know how much flexibility she has on her day but doesn't matter we're still gonna surprise her and um I also got to get to work, you know, so I want to go ahead and get all the stuff that I can out the way for her. You know, she's not really big on celebrations either. Like, none of my family members are big on celebrations except me and Giselle, so I don't know. But I'm still going to try and make the best out of it. I always want to make the people I love feel loved on their birthday every day, but really on their birthday, you know. So let's go ahead and go into this Lucky's real quick and see what we can find for my mama for some flowers. Let's go. Sorry, y'all. I didn't bring you in the store with me, but we got mom her flowers. These are cute. They're this is what I the best I was working with. Okay, so cut me some slack. Last minute, and we got her cash out. Just catching back up with you guys. Um, just catching back up with my girls. 
it's the next day my mom's birthday was definitely fun we just shopped around a little bit um she enjoyed her surprise and her gift from me to her well from me and legacy to my mother so that was good um but today's a new day and i do want to get started on editing this vlog um i think i'm gonna extend it for the rest of today post it tomorrow for you guys today is the 14th meaning i'll post the 15th but i do want to get pretty consistent with the rest of this month so what i'm going to be doing today is like scheduling content for you guys or scheduling what i have to do during this month so that i can basically you know put that into the content that i'm posting for you guys so i'm just excited for that because i know that i'm definitely going to be posting a lot and you guys are going to enjoy that so i'm excited for that but um just catching y'all up on basically everything that's been going on with me real short and simple is i've been doing a lot of work as always um just handling like the backside of the entrepreneur influencer life which is answering okay, emails locking in um locking in promotions um obviously my business taking orders getting orders i love all the support you guys still give me on my business um even with just so little products um being on there well it's not really little products i have a bunch of styles you could choose from on my website so and even lash kits which by the way y'all they're still going strong strong that should let you guys know that do not play with my lash kits okay if you do them correctly and apply very close to your line very close to you like apply them correctly use the right amount of bond and add the seal at the end you will have long lasting diy lash kits like i promise okay um so make sure you shop with us but yeah other than that i'm just kind of unpacking legacy stuff i did get a mommy break that was great great sleep great everything um what else hmm. what else did i get done during these days that i haven't been posting it hasn't been shown to you guys that i haven't been posting i didn't show you guys my mommy break obviously but i did get one and i um have been gone for a little bit which is why i did that little disclaimer when i started post or recording again um but yeah so things that i'm excited for now that we've caught up on all that i have been slacking on the gym i will be real with you guys on that but we're back on it tomorrow but things that I'm excited for this week or weekend, because today's already Friday. No, today's Thursday. Okay, so ooh, I got to pay my tags tomorrow. Anyway, um, things that I'm excited for are I am going to finally be doing a cut and change of hair. It's not going to be super major. But if you have been following me on my social media platforms, y'all have seen that I've been debating from a Bob, super Bobby Annika, or layered with obviously uh, jet black hair. I decided I'm going to do jet black hair because I feel like it's just the safest route right now. I'm going to do long layers. My hair is super long, literally passing. Legacy, what are you doing in the bathroom? Okay, I don't want you to be making a mess. It's obvious, it's literally passing my butt crack. So it's a long, but it's so like long for nothing because it's so damaged. So I'm going to be getting long layers, you guys, with a color of obviously jet black. I'm a jet black girly. That's what it is, okay? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, also, Legacy is going to get her first hair trim in a long time, you guys. I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do all of this in a different vlog. It's going to call like, it's going to be called like some, it's going to be like a maintenance vlog. So I will be doing that on a different vlog. But I did want to give you guys an update on what I have decided for my hair. For those of you that were wondering, that's what I chose and I'm going with. Um, and then later on, if I do want to do the short bob cut, I can at least have gotten out the system the layered look you know what i'm saying like the bob cut is the last resort because once you have the bob cut you can't do the layers again unless you get you know i buy extensions and all that stuff which i can still do but i feel like the bob cut is going to be very you know so 
yeah, I decided the layers. I feel like it's going to be a good look. I feel like it's going to be giving grown. Um, I feel like I can practice um, heatless hairstyles when I do have the layers. So I'm excited for that. I'm super excited for that. Also, too, me and Legacy's birthdays are coming up. Um, I've already, it, Legacy has already decided and in the works, but um, mine has a big question, which is very sad because mine's is first. So yeah, that was like my little venting sesh with you guys. Um, I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee, unpacking legacy stuff. I do have a bunch of laundry to do. So I'm going to do that. Um, I just have so many surprises for you guys. And I can't speak on it because, you know, God has the final say. God has the final say, but I still feel like it's... If it's one thing that I've learned, just with age and life through my journey and relationship with God is that don't speak on things so much you know what I'm saying like just period don't speak on every single thing you got going on you don't especially when it's good things like even when it comes down to like you helping the needy or stuff like, like you don't have to speak on it like I know sometimes it's good and motivating but do it like for a good amount of time without speaking on it without broadcasting it and then if you want to out of the 30 other times that you've done it then say so but when you do something this is what i was just learning in my verse of the day that i wrote down today um it was it was the verse of the day actually i'm like what verse was it? it was the verse of the day it was matthew 6 was it yes matthew 6 3 but when you help a needy person, do it in such a way that your the, that your closest friend will not know about it. And then I read the whole entire chapter of Matthew. I read the entire chapter of Matthew six, and then it went on to about prayer life. You know, when you're praying, like the correct way is, you know, there is no like you go in your room, do it in private, have that intimacy with God. It's gonna help build that relationship. I mean, God already knows what you're gonna ask for but just say it to him in prayer and build that intimacy even though he already knows what it is you know what i'm saying just do it also too for people that are just new to this you don't have to have a super written out and use great big words and bible term like you can just say it how it is what you need what you're thankful for what you're repenting from and boom he's gonna hear you because again he already knows he already knows so you know but yeah back to what i was saying that's why i'm just like mom look at my face it's so dirty she gotta get in the bath uh but that's why i've been saying like i have a lot of things to share with you guys but i'm just gonna stay on mute and you know just hope for the best of everything and when it's time for me to share it to the world, then God will give, will give me the say so. But uh, just so many blessings. I'm just so blessed all around. A lot of great things happen for me every day. I'm blessed with everything I have already to this day and have been having. But I just feel like this year just brings out so much amazing things. You know, so many amazing things to me. Um, when you walk around with gratitude and a thankful heart, you can't go wrong. Like, God loves a thankful spirit, you know, um, an appreciative spirit. So, yeah, um, I did, speaking of appreciative and bringing things out to the light, I know that a lot of you guys saw that I am going to be a panelist. I mean, what is it called? Second. I am going to be on the panel for Shantia Deja's, um first class summit conference it's going to be in baltimore maryland i've never been out there y'all i'm super excited but more importantly i'm excited to be in that room shantia actually had invited me to for, well, for that up, let's back it up a little bit how do i even how did i even get in contact with shantia if you guys don't know who shantia deja is the girl she has a youtube channel she is on instagram she is on tiktok you can find her there this woman is so amazing she actually reached out i i didn't know anything i never you know like i was just going through a horrible time in my life last year i want to say or the year before was it 2023 
I think it was 2022 ending 2022 I was going through a, a rough 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 time in my life and I normally never check my request DMs but I happened to check my request DMs this day and Shantia Deja was just speaking to my spirit and it was so funny because I was starting to like pray a little bit on my own and like trying to find a solution to the many struggles I was going through in my life and what I was facing with and she DM me and she just gave me really encouraging words. Um, she told me about her YouTube channel. She told me that, you know, just look at my videos. If anything resonates, if anything relates, I hope it does. But I felt called to message you. And girl, we've been following each other ever since. We've been, you know, just supporting each other off social media ever since. Um, I'm very supportive of her. I feel like everything she does is amazing. She speaks so well she has this like I don't know she just has this 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 her spirit period her spirit is just very like relatable it's just amazing and she gets a message through to you where like I don't know it's just very few people that give a message and encouraging words um you know that pertains to God and what you may be facing with there's very few people that do that and that I can feel like you know relatable with and she is that one but she's also great and um ever since then we've been you know like i said following each other she invited me to her first conference first class summit last year uh unfortunately i don't wasn't able to make it but this year she told me again like girl i'm trying to have you come so I'm going to be there. I'm so excited. And this conference is perfect. If you guys go to her Instagram, you will see what the conference topics are going to be about. What it's all going to be about. And I'm super excited because everything is ding, 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 ding. I know. Listen, it's going to be amazing. I already know. And um, I'm just super excited for it. I'm going to be around beautiful and amazing this. women yeah. that... Think like me, you know, have have the same, like, maybe even have gone through what I've gone through in life. Or, you know, I can shed some light to people, to women there. Like, it's just going to be a great time. I'm super excited for that. And I've been waiting for something like this to happen in my life. Um, which is why I started looking for a church. I was looking for a church for the longest. Started looking for churches that felt good in my spirit. And the reason why I was doing all that is because I want to have a community. A community is needed when you're going through these kinds of things. And when you're going through a journey, you know? So, yeah. I'm just so excited. A lot of great things are happening. This is obviously something I can speak on publicly because it's already out there. Her flyer went out. I reposted it. Go check it out. It's on my feed on my Instagram. But, yeah. I just wanted to say that. And... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff done, you guys. Um, I am going to be cooking dinner tonight, so yeah. I guess the last thing Mom. I will do is Mom. show you guys. Mommy, can you put the short toy for me? Not like sure, this. babe. Like this. Like what? Like a, like a braid. Oh, like a braid? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, today I guess since I have more, like, in the house, since I have more, like, mom duties to do than work today... Um, I guess I'll just show you guys me cooking. I'm probably, if the chicken defrost, I'm probably going to be making, because I just took it out, y'all. I'm probably going to be making chicken breast, um, some green beans, and maybe some rice or some mashed potato. I'm not sure which Mashed one. potato. You like mashed potato? Mm-hmm. And from fries. From fries, from fries, and mac and cheese. Stop it. And I know, like, mac and cheese will do stuff not at. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Did you add something to your sideburns? Yeah. Girl, I'm crying. So, yeah. I'll show you guys what I make dinner. I'm going to show you guys me giving myself a very much needed self-care shower. Ooh. Because, girl, it's needed. Okay? I need Bye-bye. Like, all hands on deck with body scrubs. Um, I'm actually looking to buy me a body brush to get dead skin off of me. Um, probably going to do a little mask needed. Um, but I'll give you all the whole rundown of that. And that will be the end of this vlog. Short, sweet, simple. 
because I'm gonna get started on the new vlog, okay? Like, I'm trying to make my appointment today for tomorrow for this hair, for legacies, okay. maintenance, all that. So, yeah, um, I'll be right back. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Mom. a very long and very detailed and needed shower y'all literally that foot scrub that foot thing that i used that i showed you guys i don't know why i didn't been using it it just makes your feet feel like you just left the spa i mean the nail salon after getting a pedicure like my feet feel so smooth and soft just baby soft right now and i love that because having that is just essential um and it's just little things that i have to like incorporate in, that i want to incorporate into my everyday you know just maintenance and how i take care of my body you know like that's awesome you could literally be with your boo and he could be rubbing on your feet and they're gonna be soft but um as you guys can see i already did my skincare um i went ahead and applied all my steps um, I feel like you guys have seen me do my skincare before, so I didn't feel like I needed to just come on here and show you guys what my skincare is. It's a little, a little updated, but not too much. If you guys are not being able to see clearly, I, my dark circles are super, super acting up right now. They weren't over the weekend. Over, I mean, they weren't last week. So I'm just like, why are y'all acting up now? It's probably because I didn't sleep uh, early last night, but... I went ahead and went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I got me these from the Cram Shop. And they're multi-eye task under eye patches. They're super cute. They're all flowery. So cute. They're brightening, patch it on, and do your thing patches. They have caffeine, squalane. Is that what I'm saying right? I don't know. And this one. They have some stuff. But it's made in Korea and it's cruelty free. And we know that we love anything Korea skincare, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and apply these i also did apply um my ordinary caffeine sh my ordinary caffeine solution drops um just to give myself just that extra oomph you know what i'm saying so yeah that's pretty much what we got let me see how's it go is it vroom vroom or vroom vroom? they're so cute i'm literally gonna leave them on all night y'all like i'm probably not taking them off until like tomorrow morning I hope that's safe because that's what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, that feels so cooling and just like, I love it. The only thing that sucks about putting these patches on, in my opinion, is that feeling of like my eye feeling droopy because, well, when I look down because of the patch being there. But girl, if it's gonna help. We're gonna go ahead and keep it on, you know. Okay. Period. Lashes are still going strong. I'm gonna literally leave them out until I don't have any more strength in them left, you know. So I'm super excited about trying these out. I'm gonna let you guys know how I like them. If I feel like I've seen a little something. So far right now, I'm loving the cooling system, the cooling feeling that it's giving me. So yeah, anything caffeine is really, really great for dark circle. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm believing that this will be that one, you know. And they're super cute, literally flowers. Like what? 
um i just got my eyebrows done not too long ago literally i feel like y'all saw that in the last vlog i want to say or the vlog before so i'm just kind of like cleaning them up a little bit because like i said i already did my skincare routine off camera i didn't feel like i wanted to vlog that or my shower routine i just kind of showed y'all the pro products that i'm using this month um which are different shampoo has been different um as well as body wash and all that good stuff but oh Hi, mom. Nothing, baby. let me just add a little laneige mask and because i feel like my lips have been super super dry i'm looking for my little hair clips in my bag because why would i think this was a good idea to put them in here don't know it's gonna kill me that these are different colors but listen we need the hair out the way right now okay so this is what we'll do should we do what's in my bag why not what's in my bag so this is freshly um unpacked i have a whole bunch of literally i don't know what in here i have my key holder for my car um we got our wallet and our key we have both baby cleaning wipes and disinfectant wipes need those everywhere we go um a loose panty liner and if you're anything like me and just lose absolutely everything, you should invest in one of these. It's like a little bag inside your bag. It's great. But at the same time, this is messy as well. So let's see what's in here. Okay. So we have our hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. The Champagne Toast set. I have my Pretty Mommy travel size mirror. Literally, look how tiny it is compared to my bag. So make sure you guys purchase your Pretty Mommy travel size mirrors. I have the best smelling lotion in Bath & Body Works. Like, literally, this takes the win. I thought it was strawberry or pound cake or strawberry something. Let me see, I still have it in here. I don't know it must be in the bathroom or something but it's like this strawberry one and it was it is one of the best smells as well but among the clouds this scent smells delicious delicious okay I feel like no other scent can compare like this smells so good mmm I'm just about to like every time I put this and I'm so sad it's the small version like what mm, it smells so good i love that lotion y'all gotta go buy it if you haven't we have legacy's toy travel mirror because i couldn't find mine so i was using hers Gotta put that in her toys i have a comb because this hair is super long and gets tangled literally with the wind okay i have my nyx lip combo it looks like um this is sometimes what I do when I'm not wearing you no know, makeup. I do a little liner and clear gloss. Or even sometimes when I do have my makeup done, this is a perfect little combo. Or I do all three like this. So bomb. But I have that, my little lip combo. I also have this travel size Ariana Grande perfume, which I'm almost out of and it smells so good. It's uh, similar to Baccarat kind of smell. Smells great. Glue. And now can I eat this one? Legacy's gold necklace that she literally broke with her teeth. Kids. I have a full set of press-on nails just in case. I don't know. Just in case. What? My bracelet. What? My passport. I have a picture of Legacy from Chuck E. Cheese that she took. Can I say yes? In a little bit when I'm done with my video. I have a business card that I need. 
a on the go uh very natural pro la girl concealer that i might need for my dark circles if i'm just running on no makeup Let's make it. AirPods, charger and battery for my camera. Masks, they're actually kids masks, but they fit my face because I'm so. And flight tickets. Oh. And two more clippies, which I found the other one, so I'm gonna put that on. And some press on glue nail, nail glue. Um, and that is about it. Other than that, it's just like little, the top to the perfume. That was what was in my bag. Okay, y'all, I am getting ready to get started on some dinner i'm hoping that the chicken will be defrosted already but if it's not um i'll show you guys what i end up buying or what the next option for dinner will be because i mean obviously dinner me and lacy already ate but dinner is gonna happen any time soon it's getting later and later but um i did want to go ahead and ask you guys so as i was unpacking all of legacy stuff I was like okay so i'm looking at all her clothes and let me know if you guys do this too mom to mom okay first of all i have a problem with buying legacy a lot of clothes okay let's i'm admitting it i know i do i know i do but literally a lot of the stuff she outgrows in two seconds so <clears throat> i was going through her stuff and she literally needs an entire new wardrobe i feel like a lot of the stuff that she has that still does fit her she's wore more than three times already so i kind of feel like my girl like my girl we gotta get you some new clothes shoes she's outgrowing like this she literally has like three set pairs that actually fit her and they're kind of looking worn out already other than like crocs and slippers and stuff like that there's literally like three that are in rotation yeah. and that's not good because you know we need flavors we need colors so I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but my girl needs a whole new wardrobe. And quite frankly, so do I. I told you guys I was shopping and getting a whole new wardrobe, but it just so happened that I was unpacking her stuff. And I seen all the stuff that she really needs to restock on. Like just simple t-shirts, you know, like I really want to start putting some fits together for Legacy. I feel like I always have her very well put together. Like anytime we're out, my girl gets compliments, okay? She be having them fits on. But she's getting older she can fit into more stuff she has her own style now she knows what she likes she likes the girly stuff she likes pink she likes dresses she likes all that so i really want to start putting her style and spin on her outfits so let me know where y'all shop for kids you know like i'll give you guys my you know go-to stores and you guys can list down below any that I didn't mention that you guys are like, yeah, those are the ones. So my go-to right now, and don't mention Shein, please, because I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to resort to that. Like, I know Shein is affordable and they have some cute fits, but I feel like I want good quality stuff this time around. Like, she's getting older and I just want good quality stuff. They don't have to be designer. They don't have to be expensive. But, um, like Zara prices is what i'm saying and zara quality which leads me to the places i do shop for her so we shop at zara a lot we shop at zara a lot for kids clothes we do kids cotton on uh we do kids h&m those two are my fave probably those three are my go-to's actually probably lately i have been doing a uh, walmart because some stuff it has been cute but i've noticed that their quality um can start to look worn out by the third time you wash it so i don't know maybe it's just me i don't know but let me know walmart target obviously but sometimes their styles i don't like like everything does not have to have stars and everything does not have to have unicorns but um of course uh target um what else uh if i want to do designer i definitely do either the actual the actual site is Farfetch. I love shopping on Farfetch for designer for her. Um, and what else? I think that's it for the kids. 
so if you guys like any other websites for kids clothing please let me know please put me on because i'm trying to redo her wardrobe like my girl needs it badly okay and also like accessories um actually well i guess barfetch has really good accessories but yeah let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys if i mention if i didn't mention some that you guys are like oh girl you need to be on that so yeah let me know um i'm gonna go check on that chicken and i'll talk to you guys in and i'll talk to you guys in a bit hey y'all it's the next morning um as always did not quite finish what i said i was in the last clips for that day but listen it was nothing to show y'all the chicken had not defrosted yet and i ended up eating a cup of noodles and legacy ate a sandwich so it was like why would i sit here and show y'all that but that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this very short vlog um like i said i'm getting started on a new maintenance vlog that's coming up for you guys i'm so excited about it um i was gonna bring you guys along to what i have to do today i just spit ew i was gonna bring you guys along to what i have to do today which is pay the tags for this car y'all why is my tag six hundred dollars why are my tags six hundred dollars let's just why like i would have much rather than like uh i'm just sick right now that i gotta go pay 600 dollars to keep this car going like first of all y'all trying to ban tiktok over all these other things like women don't got health care and here in california i don't know anywhere else but we don't got health care for free uh there's so many other things to be worried about than tiktok or these tags like i don't know y'all or them being that expensive you know like they shouldn't be that expensive i pay my tags but they shouldn't be that expensive for some tags for some tags like please and insurance oh baby but listen we're gonna get it done i was gonna bring y'all along to get these tags done um and get some coffee and do some orders but i feel like i do that in all my vlogs and i'm trying to give you guys better quality content now i know a lot of y'all always tell me when I, you know, express how I want to give you guys better content. You guys always tell me, like, I don't care what you post. We just want to see you. And I love that you guys are just that for me, you know? I love that. But I just feel like at this point, this is an everyday thing for me. The orders, coffee, kid, you know, I don't know. The whole, like, mom thing that I show you guys as a routine that I have that I feel like I just rather plan out more better content for you guys where i don't surround that in every single video because yes i do show you guys like daily vlogs and that is part of my daily routines i always have orders i always have to go to the post office i always gotta get me some coffee i always gotta do some little store runs i always gotta go to the grocery store but i feel like i could just do that and then do scheduled content for you guys so i do have a lot of good content that i am going to be doing for this month i'm super excited i'm actually gonna go shopping for some of it today and i'm just excited to see what you guys think of the like still daily vlogs but like a turnaround a little bit where you guys aren't seeing the routine anymore because i'm not going to be showing the routine anymore and if i do it will be very like rare and every now and then or in a vlog where a lot more has happened you know what i'm saying so yeah i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video i got my girl with me she is riding with me through all these obstacles that we got to go do and errands that we got to go run so um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye Mwah. make sure you shop pretty mommy lashes